Hi there people and welcome to a new tutorial in SOLIDWORKS has been a while let's continue working on the V12 engine let's make the crankshaft bearing cap here and the bellow of the engine uh, as you can see here we finished the turbos and here the method is to isolate these component only the crankshaft and the cylinder block what i do that just for uh, for take your reference that's i will start a new part on the the assembly okay I will choose the surface here as you can see and you can change the transparency if you have uh, a transparency not like me okay I want to be like that let's see from normal you can choose the standard views now you you are on the sketch select the surface as you can see and you can click on uh, project entities or convert entities as you can see but it's the same thing because it will project you the the sketch or the edges from the cylinder block Okay. Now I want to hide this one to continue working manually. What I have to do is just to add line between these points step by step. Okay. Make sure that all thing is all right. People, you can see uh, the tutorial I made uh, about surfacing mode on SOLIDWORKS. I did the BMW M6 and the Audi uh, RS7. You can uh, see it on my uh, channel to improve your knowledge on uh, on surfacing mode this mode in SOLIDWORKS uh, is the volume mode you can uh, use it just modeling parts uh, and volume parts but if you like to design cars or other object you can use surface mode then convert these surfaces to uh, to volume by using the thickness as you can see here when you finish this one you can add a line in the middle but you can leave it like that okay let's show the cylinder block to see the direction because I don't want to add the part on the wrong direction okay As you can see here, I think it's all right. Go to the left, you will find here extrude. Then select uh, your uh, sketch. It's not this one because you have to select the sketch on your part here. I miss it on the first one. Select your sketch and go to extrude to extrude this this one but so it works uh, can't find which uh, region to be extruded that you have to select it man manually then uh, as you can see here I will select it one by one uh, if it's not work 
because I select I think uh, yeah because I select uh, line that's don't you can't you can't select it after okay as you can see okay that's the problem uh, when you have this problem you can uh, clear all or delete all and repeat from the beginning that's what I don't know why uh, did me that may maybe maybe when I change I put 45 as you can see it doesn't work as you can see it in, in error okay because when I touch the line here uh, maybe the program didn't understand what I am going to do okay as you can see here when you select something you have to see the result okay as you can see if you can't see it and so it works tells you no works okay the issue here is to is to close the the extrude uh, parameter okay we will extrude we will close this one and you repeat from from selecting the sketch okay as for that I told you to make sure that you are selecting uh, the best region okay when you select here as you can see we have our sketch here I will edit it as you can see when we are on the sketch okay go to here and click extrude now as you can see you can select all of uh, all of um, region but you can do it in other uh, with other method just validate your sketch and go to extrude by selecting the sketch okay then uh, then select the only the region in the interior of the sketches as you can see here we have a nice result with 45 millimeter as you can see that's a good enough okay then what i want to do in the first i told you you can add line here between because i want to use the same sketch okay to make the revolve feature as you can see here when i add this one so it works told me that the region i don't understand which region you used that for that you can go to region and select repeat the same thing select one by one okay select all of this region as you can see I will repeat shoot it and for this one I can make it as you can see for construction this one let you here select the region I will clear all and select it as you can see one by one but you can do that from the beginning as you can see that's an exercise for you to make this uh, 
this region as you can see select both of them or you can select just these parts okay as you can see that we have the same result now I will use I will hide this one before and you can show here your sketch to see it and now you can go to the revolve feature uh, sorry it's it's not this one because this one you will add material let's close it and choose here revolve by cutting material as you can see I will select the region but when you select the region you have to select it in one side if you prefer to select the low side you select all things in the same side as you can see the axis is detected automatically and we have nice result here by using only one sketch and two um, two features but if you use the if you want to create this uh, part uh, independently you will use many feature and you will and you will use many memory on your uh, pc or mac okay as you can see here we have nice result you can check it by using um, this uh, option Okay, as you can see to cut all the block the cylinder block and the crankshaft to see what's going on there and here finish your modeling but you have to rename and save your part because SOLIDWORKS uh, this part for it is a virtual part you will you can't find it on your folders what you have to do is to rename it and save it to rename it just click here and put name just don't do that just click your name and put the name is the crankshaft bearing cap okay when you finish just save it as the assembly the same folder on the assembly that you can open it and modify it separately to your assembly as you can see here we have the part please subscribe and i will tell you see you in the next episode we will make the oil tank and thanks for all subscribers, see you.